Hello, 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 you guys. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing awesome and amazing. Collective, we're going to get right into it, you guys. You know your story. Don't pick it up if it's not for you, Collective, okay? Thank you guys for the likes, the comments, the shares, the subscribes, and all that good stuff, you guys. We're going to get right into it. As I was coming to the reading, I was hearing um antidote. So you're getting some type of antidote here. Um, you could be a cancer, or it could be involving cancer, or um, you could be dealing with a cancer. But cancer is rude. Cancer is a water sign, so it's like you're finding your strength and you're taking charge is what I'm getting. Yeah, it's something about your... Um, your emotions, something is being removed, like from your emotions or somebody may be having a cancer, cancer, something cancerous removed. Take it how it resonates with you guys. But I'm really getting like, this is like something to do with your emotions. It could be like something, an uh, antidote is being given to you to like to shape your relationships and your life is what I'm getting because like something about... Something about your emotions were like temporary, whatever situation that you were in is what I'm getting. So you could have been like emotionally unstable or emotion, emotional list. <laughs> Y'all understand what I'm saying? But I'm getting like, um, you're being redirected. You're being redirected on your path or something. It's like you uh, you were often confused or like you could have been confused with like some type of story somebody was telling you, but you're finding out some type of truth. So like you could be finding an antidote to something. Yeah, so like somebody could have been like emotionally manipulating you or you could have been emotionally manipulating yourself just by having like toxic thoughts is what i'm getting something like that but let's see what's going on though so yeah you could have even like mastered like some childhood traumas here or something like some something traumatic that happened in your childhood you mastered that is what i'm getting this could be concerning to someone. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, because somebody could have been like trying to confuse you, thinking that you, you know, you were very vulnerable or you were just naive. This could stem back from to your childhood. Take it how it resonates with you guys. What's going on? What's the message? We got marriage here. Message of concern. Main female. It's something about your commitment is what I'm getting. You could be this main female. Uh, yeah, uh, this is concerning to someone. But, okay, there was a main female that was committed here. Something about your gifts when you were a child. Yeah, your contract. Okay, yeah, they, they this main female most definitely caused a lot of chaos in your contract is what I'm getting. Uh, because you were gifted as a child is what I'm getting. Somebody is watching you get some type of support. Somebody was not expecting for you to have support. But be expecting support. A new beginning. I'm getting, um, you're also like uncovering like your gifts, your hidden treasures. This main female most definitely was committed, like on your path to block your strength, your powers, your gifts. I'm seeing, um, the strength card, the tarot card, the lady with the beast. This lady had this beast that was like, um, 
Okay, well, now, uh, strength, your strength is immaculate here, but this, I'm getting this strength card is a depiction of her. Her. She was committed on, like, trying to tame you and wanting you to be like this beastly creature. That's what I'm getting. Or she could be working with this beast to block you from your gifts is what I'm getting. Yeah. Yeah, trying to keep you in despair here is what I'm getting. She could have been doing this since you were a child. Yeah, this person has like um a, a transmitted demon attached to them or something. It was like she com she was committed to like having you stray off your path. So she could have been blocking you in your path for this demon is what I'm getting. Or this entity. Take how it resonate. What's this marriage? What's this marriage message? The truth about this woman having this attachment attached to her. Yeah. Unexpected. Unexpected income. Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. I'm getting like she most definitely was taking something from you. Her and this demon. She could have tried to even even place and attach something onto you that was like blocking your emotions or blocking you from speaking your truth. Yeah, even you being like getting some type of great fortune. There's a mature man working to change. She could have been working with a mature man to change your great fortune too as well. Yeah, this is a false person here that's attached to her. So this could even be like, um, this could be a lover or a loved one or this this demon. I don't know. It could be a Leo. Take it how it resonates. She could be a Leo. You could be a Leo. Give me one. Yeah. Because it's all about your family inheritance is what they were trying to block you from. I'm getting like you someone like royalty or something. Or there's a mature man that left something to you. Which could have been like inherited to you. But they tried, they took it from you. Yeah, you're going to get some type of uh, upgrade. Like I said, something that's been removed. This could even be like a family, um, like you being in poverty or something. That's been removed is what I'm getting. Somebody has a distorted value system is what I'm getting too as well. Yeah, somebody try to cause chaos here to you getting some type of unexpected income or just chaos from you being held in high honor. Somebody didn't want you to be given this. Yeah, but there's a message here that you are held in high honor and um, unexpectedly, you're going to receive some type of message, paperwork, letter, I don't know, um, in here, I don't know, you're going to get something. Great fortune is behind that. But like I said, this mature woman could have been in your community or working with a group of people here to block your path, to cause chaos to your path. They wanted you to go down the wrong path. Like, if you strayed away from your path, this mature woman thought that she was going to become privileged and things would end for you. That would end your high honor position. Yeah, so they was working with a lot of people here to try to cause chaos and confusion to you in your life. And this could even be like your, your family. They knew something about this. Talking about some distorted value system. They looked at you as if you were poor because they were making you suffer. 
Yeah, they were making you suffer more so you could experience rejection or something like that. Yeah, but uh, that's like a distorted value system because um, someone who was well off I don't know, they feel like, okay, they feel like someone who is well off, they're successful. And because you went through a lot of suffering and pain and whatever they try to place upon you, I don't know, they just feel like you, you don't deserve whatever you're getting. But a true leadership role is not about status. You don't have to prove yourself to nobody and you don't have to have all the riches or whatever because Jesus himself, right? They, uh, he suffered, right? He suffered on his path. Most definitely. He suffered on his path to becoming king. Yeah, he gave up his riches, right? When he got on that cross, he gave up his riches. He placed himself in a, a poor person's position. Someone's glory is fading. And someone, someone's glory is going through like a transformation. Because you're speaking, it, speaking your truth and you're standing in your truth. So when they disapproved of you by causing you to suffer and be in poverty, trying to cause you to be humiliated or feeling less than or whatever, they disapproved of like Jesus or God. We got to be talking about somebody that's religious here. I grew up a uh, Christian, so that's why I always refer to God or whatever. But somebody most definitely was like conditioning you, wanting you to be led astray off of the right path. Like, they they portray to be religious, but they're dark as shit. They do a lot of dark shit. And how are you so holier than thou or rich and all this old crap, but you 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 do a lot of demar dem demonic dark shit in the dark, in the, you know, in the background. Yeah, this person is real greedy is what I'm getting. This person, I forgot about generosity. Like I said, even though God was um, with Jesus, even though he was rich, he became poor for those that were in poverty, right? So you could, so you could become rich, so to say. Yeah. We got a official person here, held in high honor. Official person is held in high honor. That This person can be a di at a distance from you. They're concerned about their marriage, their wills, because they're under judgment. This main male that was in your family Yeah, he could have took you to some type of house when you were a child to get some type of work done on you. Yeah, to get you blocked. Or to get you held in captivity. To play some type of stronghold on you. Yeah, now this false person is in despair when it comes to that sudden wealth. They had a distorted view on money. That's what I'm getting. A distorted view just on their value system. But you could have passed some type of test collective and this cancer is being removed. This is just concern. This could be a married couple that was working against you. This is just concern. This could even be a lover. This is just concerned about this lover. This lover is concerned about you being held in high honor. Now this lover want to be your main female lover or love one. But they worked hard to put you in bad health when it comes to you receiving some, some type of inheritance. 
like I said, they wanted you to be in poverty. They wanted you to be poor. But I'm getting like something about you being led, led to your your kingdom. Yeah, because you, you've healed and you did the work here. Yeah, you're stable or something is stabilizing. Like I said, something about some uh, antidote is what I'm getting. Take it how it resonates. Let me see. What is this saying? Who's this person? We got Wildcat. Be still and tune in for there is something aloof lurking alongside you. Didn't I say the strength cord? I'm telling you. They most definitely was working with this, this, whatever this is, honey. What I say? Uh, a Camaro? A Camaro. Somebody may have a Camaro. I don't know why I keep saying that. Something's moving fast. Pegasus is under that. Uh, break free, dear one. Spread wide and for, excuse me, spread wide and far for you aren't containable. You are limitless. Yeah. Wow, you this Pegasus energy. You breaking free from this woman. I'm telling you, don't. Y'all know the damn strength code. It got that lady and the beast, right? This could even be somebody attached this to you. They can have it resonate, but you were free from this. We got the Pegasus here. Horses could be significant. Then we got um Rowan. There is no need to fear, dear one. Protected you are, and protected you will always be. Yeah, so you are protected. Don't worry about nothing collective. Like I said, this cancer has been removed. Whatever somebody was trying to, this person or thing was binded to you with these ribbons here. For it lives in the silk of my binding, the knots in my truth. Yeah, you are unbinding these knots in your truth. The eye of becoming a witness swallowed in stillness. Hard time don't last. Talking out your ass, somebody ain't no, somebody of a bitch with a badge. I told you somebody that was supposed to be like an official person all your life, they've been trying to hold you down. This could be a mother, father figure, uncle, aunt, masculine, feminine, whoever. It's it's two people here. They try to keep you down. Yeah, then that's that damn um this beast. Look like it doesn't fell in love with you being binded to you. I was trying to keep you down. I was not even trying to pick up them cards, but they came out for a reason. So that was the message come through spirit. I was trying to get these cards to see what their um sign is here. Let's see, what's the sign? Oh, this married couple. They could have married each other for uh fame and fortune or just to take your inheritance. Like I said, somebody knew that you were royalty. They knew. They knew that you had this gift. For somebody, they um, somebody they sacrificed you to the Marine Kingdom or some shit, or you're connected to the Marine Kingdom. Yeah, with that cancer energy, that's water. Yeah, like I said, something about um, a test here. Your commitment is being tested. I'm getting like you went through some tests, most definitely, to uh, test your faith. Trying to see if you were going to go astray. And I'm getting you past these tests, Collective. Put that right there. We're going to see something. What are these people saying? Look, cancer. I'm telling you. I told you some cancer energy. Something. Okay, so. Um, Somebody said that you're very passionate about your family. I'm also getting like, this could be this gene energy. It's, um, when I say passionate about your family, I mean like your lineage, your angels, your ancestors, all, your whole family, your soul tribe. Your commitment was being tested is what I'm getting. And something is like, I'm getting like this Holy Ghost fire is healing something within your family, your lineage. This could be your mother, your father. Take it how it resonate. Your passion is healing. Like your emotions. 
All that's healing is what I'm getting. Yeah, that Pisces energy. Like I said, you could be very intuitive, gifted, psychic, or whatever. They were trying to block this. But um, we got... So some your family been your hidden enemies and they holding secrets. Yeah, they've been holding you down. I'm trying to hold you back all this time. Yeah, look, from your desires, your relationships, your emotional well-being, like how whatever you are like uh passionate about, your morals. They most definitely been limiting you with this uh Saturn energy. You could be learning this. Yeah. They were trying to sacrifice you. Neptune energy. They were hoping and wishing that. Something about. Uh, I don't know. They hopes and wishes was all just like a fantasy or whatever. You got Mercury energy. Yeah. Yeah, about your intellect and your communication. Yeah, you're you're wising up most definitely, and you communicating and speaking your truth about somebody trying to sacrifice you. But it's like they're trying to make you believe that everything was like a fantasy or some shit that they were limiting you from your desires in the past. But that shit is the truth. You hear me? That's what they were doing. It came right out. Yeah, all because they wanted your Jupiter energy. They wanted to have your luck, your abundance, your fortune, your goodwill. You hear me? They most definitely could have, like, um, switched distance with you and had your Jupiter energy. Something about your Jupiter placement. Like, had it under some type of stronghold or bindage or something like that. Yeah, but their stability, this earth energy, yeah, they 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 were lying about your inheritance. They were lying about your money. Scorpio on the bottom of the deck, they thought they had something down to the T. They thought they had perfected something too as well. They thought they had um, buried all the lies, but you done unearthed all these lies is what I'm getting. Yeah, about that dark ass doing a lot of dark ass shit. Working with him downstairs. Yeah. It could be an Aries, an Emperor, a Capricorn, or a Scorpio here. That wanted to be rich, so to say. Out for your abundance. You ain't even know it. Ooh, who's doing this? Yeah, we got Saturn and Venus came right back out. So something about your Saturn placement and your Venus placement and your where your Cancer is placed. You could have Saturn and Venus in your Cancer placement or vice versa. See how it resonates? But um, they most definitely was limiting you. So they was doing work on your fourth house. Trying to limit your desires when it comes to relationships, your passion. Like your intellect, your emotions. Like, what the fuck? Hmm. Something about they. Something about the whatever stronghold, whatever it is in your life or whatever it was in your life that was holding you back with that Holy Ghost fire is what I'm getting. All strongholds will be lifted. You hear me? That's what I'm getting. Yeah, with this Gemini energy, um, I'm getting like chill. Something is moving fast because you stuck to something and you, you found out Exactly what you need to find out. Yeah. And you didn't quit till you found an answer. 
about the past, about your hidden enemies or whatever somebody was trying to do to you, to your mind. Yeah, they have been doing this for a long time. Yeah, something is shifting here in Aquarius season. Um, a big change is coming. But somebody most definitely was using the moon cycles to play with you emotionally. This could be your mother. Moon energy gives me mother energy. Yeah, this is a hidden enemy from your past life. Somebody could have an Aquarius moon too as well or a Gemini Pisces moon. Take it how it resonates. Yeah. Look, look, that energy keep coming out. This this woman and this damn uh beast here, yeah, was doing some dark shit. Because they wanted to win at all costs. Somebody thought that's being real strategic here. Somebody got a, a devil on them. A devil on them. Yep, and God is here. You hear me? Look, fighting for you. That's that. Yeah, okay. Somebody was aggressively like competing with you for your, your stability, your inheritance, whatever this is. What's the message? What, what's the secret? You are exposing a lot of cruel intentions and deception here. Somebody was playing a lot of mind games. Someone who you least expect is trying to harm you. Like I said, this is like a parental figure. Wow. They have a sexually transmitted demon or entity or disease or whatever. Yeah, they may. They try to attach something to you to mess with your confidence. To make you have lack of confidence, collective. Give me one more. Give me one more secret. Anything else want to come out? Secretly wishing you some type of bodily harm. Wow. Secretly trying to embody your energy or your essence. That was in reverse. Secretly pretty and dangerous, evil and up close. Women, secretly pretty and dangerous, evil and up close. This karmic woman. Secretly going through a crisis tenfold for trying to manipulate you. The manipulation is backfiring, collective. They've been watching you, collective. Mmm. Wow. Oh. Your commitment was being tested. I mean, like your commitment and your faith in trusting yourself, trusting your spirit, trusting God, trusting whatever you believe in, the most high, you hear me? Whatever you, your commitment was being tested. And somebody thought that you were going to be led astray. Yeah. But you mastered something and they're concerned. They are concerned. You walk it like you talk it. Mm. Walk it like you talk it. Mm. They don't like you walking it like you talk it, collective. Let's get a couple of these and then I'm going to get out this energy. Let me see. Give me a couple. What's the message? What's the message? What's the message? Uh, somebody failed to take the opportunity to right their wrongs here. Sometimes the directions we choose is not the right ones. Yep, somebody that was trying to lead you astray, they should have came to you and tried to right their wrongs, but they didn't. Your angels and your ancestors and your guides have a message for you. And I'm getting the message is somebody's about to be held accountable. Yeah, the hunters are becoming the haunted. You hear me? Yeah, so your angels and your ancestors, they holding this person accountable. Somebody's being haunted right now and hunted. They being tracked down, most definitely. Let me get one more message over here from your angels and your ancestors. Oh, wow. I look down. Look what it say. You surrounded by your angels, collective. We got Archangel Ezekiel here can help you with forgiveness, uh, self-acceptance, and compassion. Take those out. Let me get one more, please, and thank you. That's on end for the collective. How's it going to end for the collective? You heal through your cooking. 
So you heal through your cooking collective. So pay attention to what you're eating at this time. You're going through an upgrade is what I'm getting. So um, pay attention to what you are putting into your body anyway. Most definitely. Don't fight against Mother Nature. Work with her. You hear me? I'm getting like be more natural. Uh, eat more fruits and vegetables. Things that have roots. Things that are grow, you know, grown from the earth. Stay away from all that processed food, uh, grease, fatty foods, all that. Yeah. Wow. I don't know what. Oh, I'm. This is. Oh wow. Somebody. Uh, we got road rage. Somebody could be mad. Somebody could um have an accident and be end up in a ditch. I don't know what that is. Take it how that resonate. Somebody that was trying to manipulate you. That could be uh they could hurt their head in a car accident. Or they this is what they try to do to you. Because this could be somebody's mother feel like you're fighting against them. And they've realized that they could manipulate you. So they could have tried to cause you some type of blunt force trauma to your head. They could, you know, been doing a lot of manipulation. Um, Something about road rage and in a ditch. I don't know. So just be careful. Pay attention to the change in your life too, collective. What do you need to let go of? I'm getting let go and let go. Don't even worry about whatever this person got going on. Let go and let go. Okay. You are in your most beautiful form right now. You hear me? You are in your most beautiful and powerfulest form, collective. Because you are authentically you. You are authentically yourself. You are whole again. You hear me? Even though somebody tried to cause you all this drama and chaos in your life, let it go. Let it go. Leave that in the past and move on. You hear me? God going to take care of them. You have nothing to worry about. And the battle is, you know, you're going through spiritual war, right? With the weapons of warfare from God. It's going to pull down any stronghold. This is a spiritual uh, battle. This is not no battle for you to stand up and be ready to fight. You spiritually fight this battle with praying, fasting, meditating, letting it go and giving it to God or your higher up, whatever you believe in. You hear me? That's how you fight this battle. You hear me? That's how you fight this battle. That's how you stand 10 toes down and stay in your right path. Your commitment is being tested. By the most high. You hear me? So keep moving forward. Keep doing what you're doing. And you heal people through your food. And you heal yourself through your food. I'm getting food for the soul. You hear me? That's how you heal with food for your soul. Whatever that may be. Spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally. All that. Financially. Whatever. You heal through feeding your soul with good positive things not dealing with this negative shit let that shit go you hear me l-i-g-l-i-g -L -I -G. <laughs> and that's what i have for you guys i'm in it right there you guys i'm gonna love you to life